Is your LG TV Magic remote cursor not appearing or responding on screen? In this video, I'll walk you through several troubleshooting steps to get your remote back in action. From quick fixes to more detailed solutions, I'm covering everything you need to resolve cursor issues efficiently. If your LG Magic Remote's cursor has suddenly disappeared, a simple scroll of the wheel might just bring it back. Sometimes, when the cursor vanishes, it could be because you've not moved the remote in a while or after pressing some buttons. Just scroll up or down and see if that brings your cursor back onto the screen. Now, if that doesn't work, the next thing you'll want to check is the batteries. It's pretty common for the remote to act up if the batteries are running low. So try replacing them with a new set and make sure to clean the battery contacts as well. Just a bit of cleaning can ensure a better connection and might just solve the issue without needing further steps. If your remote's buttons are stuck, they could be sending continuous signals that prevent the cursor from appearing. Remove the batteries and forcefully press each button to unstick them. Then, hold down the power button for 10 seconds to drain residual power from the remote. This acts as a reset. Reinsert the batteries and check if the cursor is working again. If your cursor still isn't working, it might be a connectivity issue between your remote and TV. To fix this, try repairing the remote. Press and hold the home and back buttons simultaneously for at least five seconds. This will deregister the remote. Once you see a message on your TV confirming the remote has been disconnected, release the buttons. Then, press any button to re-register it with your TV. Additionally, you can check if the remote is functioning properly by testing its Bluetooth signal. Turn on Bluetooth on your phone or another device and scan for new devices. If your remote appears as a new Bluetooth device, like LG EMRXX, it's working properly and should also reconnect with your TV. It's also crucial to ensure your TV and remote are up to date with the latest software. To check for updates, navigate to the All Settings menu on your TV, then go to Support, followed by Software Update. Here, you can see if any updates are available and apply them directly. If updating doesn't resolve the cursor issue, you might consider resetting your TV. For a soft reset, simply turn off the TV, unplug it, and then hold down the physical power button on the TV for about 15 seconds. Wait a few minutes before plugging it back in and turning it on. If the problem persists, a hard reset might be necessary. Go to All Settings, then General, followed by System, and select Reset to Initial Settings. Remember, a hard reset will erase all your settings, so use this as a last resort. If you've tried everything and your remote still isn't working, it might be time for some advanced troubleshooting. Carefully disassemble the remote to inspect and clean its internal components. Start by removing the batteries, then use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry open the remote if there are no visible screws. Once opened, check for any obvious signs of damage or dirt and clean the components with isopropyl alcohol. After cleaning, reassemble the remote and check if the cursor responds. If your remote is still not functioning correctly, consider using the LG TV Plus app as an alternative control method. This app is available for both Android and iOS devices and can fully operate your TV, ensuring you still have control even without the Magic Remote. That's it for this video on troubleshooting your LG TV Magic Remote when the cursor isn't working. I hope these steps help you resolve any issues you're facing with your remote. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more practical tech tips. Have any questions or did these methods work for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.